Understanding Living Memorial, a guide to English phrases. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, living memorial. This is a fascinating phrase in the English language, often used to describe something very special. Let's dive into understanding what it really means and how you can use it in your everyday conversation. Living memorial is a compound phrase made up of two words, living and memorial. First, let's look at these words separately. Living refers to something that is alive, ongoing, or active. On the other hand, a memorial is something that is created to remember a person, event, or situation. When we combine these two, the phrase takes on a special meaning. A living memorial is not just a simple monument or a static object. Instead, it's something that is active, growing, or evolving while serving the purpose of remembering someone or something. This can be a garden planted in memory of a loved one, a scholarship fund named after a notable individual, or even a building dedicated to the memory of a significant event. Let's see some examples of how living memorial can be used. The community garden serves as a living memorial to honor the town's founder. The annual scholarship is a living memorial to the professor's dedication to education. These examples show how the phrase is used to describe something that both remembers and has an ongoing, active presence or impact. Using the phrase, living memorial, is a way to describe a tribute that is not just about the past, but also about having a current and future impact. It suggests that the memory of the person or event is not static, but rather something that continues to live, grow, and influence. Living memorial is a beautiful and profound phrase in the English language, encapsulating the idea of memory and ongoing influence. It's a way to keep memories alive through active, living tributes. We hope this video has helped you understand and appreciate this phrase. Remember, language is not just about words, but the ideas and emotions they convey. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.